this video we're going to show you how to use the envelope tool. We're going to do the probably the most basic and most often used of the envelope tool, uh, just a basic um, single arc envelope. Um, I've got an actual job that I need to show a customer, so we're going to just start on that job and show you how this goes. So first we're going to put the text in here. Um, I need to put the word pioneers in here. So we'll get that typed in and get it enlarged and I'm going to change that to I'm going to try a college black font like that right there and I'm going to make it make the letters taller that's more of the of the look that I'm looking for right there so now that we got our letter set up we're going to go ahead and add the envelope effect to this and um, I've got the envelope docker open over here if you need to open that you would just come down here click or so there's a check mark on envelope that'll open the docker window over here um, and from there we've got several settings but for our job right here the most basic one that most people use um, we're going to use set this on putty we're going to select this button here which is single arc um, that allows us to make a single arc between each corner point um, and doesn't allow for us to move the control points back and forth. It keeps everything uniform that way, uh, which is what we want here. So then all I need to do is click Add New, and that will add that envelope um, object behind there. And to show you what that is, we've got um, four control points in the middle between our corner points. We can do we can move each one of them independently to get different envelope effects. So you can move top, bottom, left, and right um, to get an effect like that. Um, this particular job that I'm doing calls for us to make the center of the object smaller and keep the ends bigger. So I could move these independently like this um, and get the effect I want. I'm going to undo that, go back to here. But what I'm going to show you a little trick here is um, hold down your shift key and then move this point up. Or you could move this point down. Either way, you can see that moves the top and bottom point at the same time and keeps everything uniform. So I'm going to move it to about there, which is about the effect I'm looking for. And uh, that way it's all nice and uniform. I'm going to go back up here now and get my pick tool. We've now got our text. We've got an envelope on there. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit more for the job that I'm working on. I'm going to go with something like that. Now the job I'm working on calls for a red, let's see, a red background and and, and like a silver on the top. So I'm going to make, this is going to be our top layer. And um, as a little bonus here, I'm going to show you putting on a contour, our contour to, um Docker is open. I'm going to add a contour here of we're going to start with about 0.15 and we're going to apply that. And that looks pretty good, but I'm going to go a little bigger. Let's try 0.18. And I like that a little better. So now we've got a contour on there. Not a real good color combination. I'll zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to right click on the contour. Um, select break contour apart so now these are no longer a control curve these are actually two separate pieces I can take this outside piece and put the color I need behind it just like that and so I now have the two color effect that I'm looking for the last thing I'm going to do here is clean up some of these holes um, double click here I'm going to delete these nodes don't really want these small holes in here. I'm going to delete these. Just select all those. I'm going to leave these two big holes in here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and leave those in there. Um, these little nodes here really aren't, aren't needed. Get rid of those. Just clean it up a little bit. And we're going to leave these little notches in there. See what the customer thinks. But there we have enveloped lettering. A contour added. This is perfect for if you were doing um, cut vinyl. Um, this particular job is going to be some tackle tool embroidery. Um, works equally well for that. So there's a real quick example of both contour lettering 
and uh, first we did there was the envelope effect to it so uh, hopefully you uh, got something out of that and we'll see you in the next video